Dear students, now I am going to explain how to interface uh, digital to analog converter with the 8051 microcontroller. Okay, so this uh, digital to analog converter kit is available here. Okay, so this is digital to analog converter kit. From this, uh, two wires are take, uh, taken from here. Okay, so two wires are taken from this place. Okay, so this is a uh, DAC1 and uh, ground. Okay, so DAC1 and ground. From that, two wires are taken that is connected with. Uh, DSO okay so this is a DSO so that is connected with DSO these two wires connected with DSO probe okay so then this DAC kit is connected to 8051 microcontroller through this cable okay so through this cable 80 uh, DAC kit and uh, this 8051 microcontroller is connected and uh, we have to enter this is LCD kit so we have to enter program through this keyboard for that connection is available here okay so then uh, from these two ways dso is connected okay so now i am going to explain the program how to uh, generate square waveform so for that it is uh, this is ffc not as dac kits uh, port address okay so we are initializing that address then we are moving 00 to accumulator after that moving that 00 to this address okay so then uh, we are calling delay after that we are moving ff to accumulator and then that ff will be moved to uh, uh, dac port address and then we are calling delay because uh, square waveform will look like this okay so uh, while moving 0 0 to this port address we will get negative minus 5 volt to this place okay after calling delay this will come up to this place and then we are moving ff to this address so ff is equivalent to plus 5 volt okay this is plus 5 volt and then we are calling delay so it will come up to here okay so after that we are putting uh, this in loop okay l jump start so again 0 0 will be moved to this address and then after delay ff will be moved to this address and then we are calling delay so this is the delay routine these six lines represents uh, these lines these four lines represents delay routine okay so then program will get uh, executed again and again so that we are getting square waveform okay so then in sawtooth waveform we are initializing dac port address ffc naught and then we are moving 0 0 to accumulator after that moving this 0 0 to this address so it uh, then we are incrementing accumulator data 0 0 so it is uh, slanting uh, it is incremented like this okay so from 0 0 this is minus 5 volt it is incremented after reaching ff uh, because we are using 8 bit dac after reaching ff that is plus 5 volt it automatically reaches 0 0 okay so we are incrementing after that s jump loop so after ff it will reach us 0 again it is incrementing so this loop continues again and again so we will get sawtooth waveform okay so then in triangular waveform uh, we are initializing dac port address after that moving 0 0 to accumulator and then that 0 0 will be moved to this address dac address then we are incrementing so while incrementing uh, it will increment like this okay so it will increment like this but stepper motor it will reach us 0 straightly but here uh, after reaches ff it will be decremented okay so this is dcr decremented okay so decrementing accumulator so it is decremented like this okay so here it reaches uh, directly reaches 0 after reaching ff but here after reaches ff it is decremented okay so then uh, this is uh, put in loop so it will repeat it again and again so we will get triangular waveform so uh, now i have entered a square wave uh, program in 4100 location at starting address and uh, Sawtooth waveform is entered at location 4300, 200 and uh, square triangular waveform is entered at location 4300, okay. So now I show the program entry, okay. So SP space 4100 where uh, square wave is entered, uh, square wave program is entered. So square wave uh, opcode is 90 FF C naught, 90 FF C naught after that 7400 F naught. 7400 F naught and then 1241. So 1241 is a delay address. Okay. So 1241 and then 12 and then 74 FF, 74 FF and then F naught uh, delay uh, F naught upcode for L call is 12 and then delay address is 4112. Okay. So F not 12, 41, 12 and then 0, 02 is an opcode for L jump and then start address is 4103.
फोर वन जीरो थ्री एंड देन सेवेंटी नाइन जीरो फाइव सेवन ए फाइव सेवन ए एंड देन एफ एफ डी एफ ई एफ एफ डी एफ ई एंड देन डी नाइन डी नाइन एफ ए ट्वेंटी टू डी नाइन एफ ए ट्वेंटी टू एंड देन एटी ई सिक्स एटी ई सिक्स एंड देन वी हेव टू क्लियर टू अड्रस इन एटी फिफ्टी वन ओके सो लास्ट टू अड्रस वुड बी क्लियर इन एटी फिफ्टी वन ओके सो देन वी आर रीसेटिंग एंड एक्सिक्यूटिंग here we don't need to give any input okay so we have written uh, program for square wave generation and then we have to execute we don't need to give, give any input now i'm going to execute go space starting address and then enter okay so now let us see the output uh, square wave form okay at uh, dso okay so this is the square, after executing the square wave uh, program we are getting uh, square wave at dso okay so here we have to note down uh, magnitude and time period values okay so similarly let us execute uh, sort of wave program which was entered in location 4200 okay after resetting we have to enter program at uh, 4100 itself we can enter program but i have already entered program at uh, 4100 square wave so we can enter a program at another location also so i have entered it in 4200 for our ec purpose okay so sort of wave form sort of wave form op code for a move instruction is 90 and address is ffc not after that its op code is 74 this immediate data will be entered and this op code is f not and uh, its op code is uh, 04 and then its op code is 80 and uh, relative address loop relative address is fc okay so loop how to calculate this fc was explained in the theory session okay forward and backward jump loop, uh, loop calculation was uh, discussed in our theory session so then uh, let us see how uh, because this program was entered in 4200 because uh, for in 4100 i have entered program for square wave so that i have entered this program in 4200 okay so 90 ff c not After that, seventy-four zero zero F not, seventy-four zero zero F not, and then zero four eight zero F C, eight zero F C. After that, we have to clear two locations. Okay, so after that, we have to execute. Okay, um, for execution, go space starting address. We have written program in four thousand two hundred for start to three form. So we have to give four thousand two hundred. So and then enter. Okay. So now we are executing the program. After executing the program, see the result at uh, DSO. This is start to three form. Okay. So after this uh, getting three form in this DSO, we have to note down uh, magnitude that is voltage value which is y axis and uh, time which is x axis value. We have to note down and uh, we have to draw graph in graph sheet. Okay. So next, let us uh, see the program for uh, triangular three form. Triangular three form uh, which was entered in location four thousand three hundred. so sp space 4300 okay and then enter so 90 ff c not okay 90 ff c not and then 7400 f not 0 f not and then 0470 fc 0470 fc and then 74 ff f not 74 ff f not and 1470 fc 1470 fc and then 80 f2 okay 80 f2 and then we have to clear two, two locations and then we have to execute okay so we have to execute the program we don't need to give any input for execution go space starting address because uh, triangular wave form uh, program is written in 4300 we have to give starting address 4300 now i am executing see there is a uh, wave form at uh, dso now we are getting triangular wave form okay similar to previous wave forms we have to write uh, we have to note down magnitude value that is y axis value voltage value and x axis uh, time period value we have to note down and we have to draw the gra graph in graph sheet okay so this is uh, triangular wave form output okay so connection is like uh, we have to connect 8051 microcontroller with uh, dac kit through this cable from this dac kit we have to take two wires from dac1 and ground then that will be connected to dac kit that's all